Hello world, welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs and today I wanted to show you real quick how to hook up the expression pedal to the Strymon Cloudburst. It's really simple to do. Let's get into it. So on the floor here I have the Boss Roland EV5. You can probably use any expression pedal that uses TRS. The Line 6 ones with TS do not work with this. You need a TRS connection. So let me show you real quick how it's done. You um, have to have it on obviously. And all you have to do is hold the button down here and then move your foot back to the heel and you'll see it's green. So my heel is down, this is green. So now I just have to change the parameters to how I want this pedal to react when my heel is down. So first I'm going to put my tone all the way down, um, pre-delay is uh, going to be the same. I'm going to mess around with this decay. I'm going to keep the decay a little bit shorter and I'm going to have the mix uh, lower so you have more of my original signal. Now when you want to do the heel or the toe down all you got to do is put your toe down the light turns red and now I'm going to make my mix knob uh, <coughs> louder excuse me allergies. Tone I'm gonna make it go all the way up modulation I'm gonna make that go up more just for this so you can really hear everything and the decay I'm gonna go all the way up and you know what i'll mess around with the pre-delay too why not so then you just do that and it's done so let's see what that sounds like Pretty cool, right? So you have more control over how you want to use it. If you want to do what I just did, you can have some kind of swelling in the background. Um, changing the parameter of that tone knob really makes the strings pop out more when you want them. But when you want it, bring it back and get more intimate and up close with what you're actually playing, you can do that and all with the expression pedal. You could also do it to have a wet dry mix or you could use it to have a typical reverb sound and then put it into a swell. I'll do that real quick just to show you. For this one I'm not going to use the Forte Ensemble I mean at all and I'm just going to have my tone a little bit down, my mod all the way down, my pre-delay all the way down and we're going to do this. So this is a, let's see what that sounds like. I'm going to do the toe down and I'm going to make my mix knob all the way up so it's wet and then my delay I'm going to go all the way up and my modulation noon and I guess for this yeah I'll go about noon for the tone it won't be bright it'll just be a little bit brighter than how I just had it. So, as you can hear though, with that particular setting, you can kind of hear what Strymon did as far as how they created that reverb with a bunch of little tiny delays. 
Um, you can really hear it because it's pulling back the, del the um, echo time. Let me try one more. I just want to show you one more thing before I end this video and this time it's gonna I'm gonna use this fuzz face into the cloud burst and I might turn this space echo on at some point fuzz face wouldn't be my first fuzz of choice to use with this setup um, but I just got it so I'm messing around with it for another video That's pretty freaking dope. You can go from shoegaze to grunge or whatever in a matter of seconds. Let's check it out with our good old buddy, the Space Echo. Let's see what that does. Let's try it without the fuzz. So as you can see, using an expression pedal with the cloudburst just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. I am definitely going to have this on my pedal board at some point, um, but right now I've just been kind of moving everything around, trying different things before I reconfigure my pedal board and start playing out again. But um, that's it. Uh, subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell if I helped you out in any way. Please, you know, share it with other people if you think this could be useful to somebody else. All right, thanks, bye-bye. Woohoo!